Hey guys, I am Big and Scary. I'm bringing you another StarCraft 2 replay. This is going to be Game 5 of Clan Saget versus Clan NON Esports. Representing Saget in our bottom right-hand side is Complain. Our Midmasters, to, yeah, I think it's Midmasters, Israeli uh, Green Terran, and his opponent in the top left is NON Esports uh, Soul Flare or Soul Flare or Soul Fleur. I'm not 100% sure it's the U is throwing me off. So I go with Soul. I do know that both players are undefeated currently. Complain has taken two of the last maps that we've seen, and Soul took the first two maps that we saw out of this best of seven. So this is game five, uh, and both players are 2 0. -oh. Pretty cool. Zerg versus Terran. We're on Alkaline Wastes. This is going to be awesome because Complain definitely knows how to play against Terran, definitely knows how to play against Protoss. And then uh, Soul, he took two games versus Zerg. So both players really, really know their matchups. I'm looking forward to this uh, comparable skill level of the Masters. Um, and then Zerg versus Terran is definitely my favorite matchup to watch. It's so cool. There's so much pressure. There's so much back and forth. And speaking of pressure, I mean, it's tied up 2-2. So whoever takes this, takes the advantage, will Soul be able to blur, break complaints back, uh, make it so that, you know, it, the, the pressure of, of winning goes back to Inouye's favor? Or will Saget be able to take, uh, finally, the lead for the first time in this best of seven? I, don't, I honestly do not know. We see the barracks coming out, a very early refinery, too, probably meaning there's going to be some form of a Reaper scout. This is probably going to transition into that very traditional Reaper Hellion opening, a nice way to pressure, especially on these maps that have nice and uh, nice and open thirds, a secondary pathway into the third up here. Some crazy people at one time elected to take this one as their third, but that is just ludicrous because it's so far away and really you just have to take down the destructible debris to open up the third over here, and it's just so handy. It's so very, very nice. Hatch going down. Spawning pool is only just now being started uh, immediately after the gas being thrown down, too. So hatch into, eh, hatch into spawning pool. A little bit more defensive uh, considering the size of this map. Really don't have to worry too much about super aggression coming out. But we do have that Reaper going to be popping out on the field in just a handful of seconds. Make its way over there. Alkaline Waste is a deceptively small map. Uh, it looks very large and it feels very large. It plays very large. However, there are certain sections, such as the fact that the, the Naturals ramp is so incredibly huge, uh, it makes it so that even though it's a very large map, things like the Reaper, things like the Hellion can get on top of you before you're prepared for it. Uh, and so that first Reaper is coming out, a second Reaper on the production tab. I expect we're going to see a uh, factory being thrown down sooner or later, probably after the CC, considering how much money Complain is currently banking up. We also have almost uh, 400 minerals saved up for Soul, but he has spent those down into the form of two different queens going to be popping out now that that hatchery is done on the low ground, immediately starting up the metabolic boost with that spawning pool as soon as he gets that 100 uh, gas and is going to be continuing to aggregate that gas. So he's probably going to be going for an earlier layer which means that his uh, his third hatch is going to be a little bit delayed, which is fine because he still needs to take down those rocks uh, before he actually thinks about doing that because you really don't want to throw it on that hatchery over here when those uh, Hellions can get on the field and these Reapers can be very, very uh, devilish. We have another Reaper moving out. Uh, is going to be poking into that natural. First Reaper succeeding in taking down a single worker as well as a single Zergling, but now that the Queens are out on the field, it's going to be a very hard press to actually... Uh, take out anything else. The queen taking the substantial amount of damage, though, before for forcing those reapers back. We have the baneling nest also being constructed back at home, just in case. Uh, added defense more than anything else. Like I said, he is uh, aggregating that extra gas, but he's not throwing down a buttload of zerglings. Probably not going to go for a baneling bust anytime soon. I expect to see a lot of extra zerglings if that is uh, what we're going to be dealing with. The metabolic boost is going to be finishing in a handful of seconds, and that's really going to lock down these reapers. But those reapers do get in there just in the nick of time to see that that baneling nest is being constructed. Uh, and with that, 12 more zerglings are being constructed right now. So, hey, maybe this is going to be a baneling bust. Maybe. I mean, they these guys are sending off their way down into that natural. That natural has been made, but the bunker has not been started. And remember, that baneling nest can hit really really early and and yeah those zerglings are going to be making their way in the uh, factory is starting up on that hellion production but we don't have any hellions actually out on the field yet it's just those two reapers this is really really bad for complaint it's totally taking him and me by surprise uh those reapers are going to be hopping off to the high ground it looks like that orbital command is going to have to to lift off and with these hellions coming out this is a very robust wall but you know what makes mincemeat out of a wall five banelings those banelings are going to be coming in and not only is that going to be taking on that wall it's also going to be knocking down the supply will it be able to supply gap him oh no those banelings really need to get in there and actually uh, engage those supply depots 
finally getting in after taking a handful of pot shots from those Hellings, but not those uh, Hellings did not manage to actually clean out those Banelings. These Zerglings going to town on the infrastructure back at home. Uh, really have succeeded in crushing the entire standing force. We have a single Marine out in a bunker, but that bunker is not being repaired. There goes the SCVs making their way up to repair that bunker, but now the Zerglings are turning towards those SCVs. Oh my goodness, 24 over 17 Harvesters. Only 17 Harvesters back at home. It's because that natural never got saturated. He immediately transitioned over to that Baneling bus, and this is this is brutal. Uh, those two Banelings not doing too much damage, but still 11 workers killed. Uh, Soul Flare, even though he had the economic advantage, now all of a sudden he's down to just 13 harvesters. This is this is pretty bad. Those Zerglings are continuing to stream in, and now, even with two Hellions now on the field and two more on the production tab, I'm not 100% sure if he's going to be able to clean this up. Uh, however, Soul is transitioning back into those drones. Once he cleans this up, he'll be able to get back to work mining, but mining with what? There's no SCVs left. He's only got like a handful, six of them left. Oh man, that is absolutely brutal. There is a third CC on the ground, but there's no money to build uh, three SCVs at one time. So this is this is rapidly spiraling out of control for for uh, complaint. I think he's going to have to tap out in just a handful of seconds. And even if he doesn't, Soul has a Roach Warren on the way. He's got a nice economy back at home. He's fully saturated as natural, or at least slightly saturated as natural. And with 30 harvesters to seven, this is this is looking really really grim. The Hellions are moving out though. They're going to be poking off into the top left hand side just to see what sort of uh, damage he's dealing with. And once that Roach Warren finishes, I think Soul is just going to switch right back over to mass producing roaches. Once again, deny the natural, and then probably just walk right up that ramp and crush crush the main oh this is this is brutal but hey you, this this match is not over yet i mean it's definitely not over yet and by match i mean the clan war uh this is a best of seven uh soul has probably taken this map if we're being honest uh with 10 more roaches coming out even if he does though saget still has one more game to play and if they take that game they can force it into an ace match and that would be a sight to behold complain definitely playing a, a very top drawer game he's rebounded very very well like i said he had three of those cc's he's producing those uh those uh scvs three at a time and is preparing for that forthcoming push he's got double bunkers on the low ground a lot of widow mines in fact he's gonna be he's gonna give soul a run for his money still at about half supply uh, but still those roaches will be taking a lot of extra damage from those widow mines. Oh no, the Miss Micro of his Hellions is right in between the meat grinder of all of those roaches. That is, uh, that is an absolutely devastating loss. However, those roaches, or those zerglings, really do not survive for very long from the concentrated fire of those bunkers, as well as that widow mine. Nice, nice, nice job here from Complain to reposition that widow mine behind the bunker, making it so that the uh, zerglings would actually be doing a surround before uh, aggroing that widow mine. Here comes the push, though. We have a lot of banelings. We've got a lot of roaches and uh this is this is gonna be grim this is gonna be really really grim he doesn't have the bunkers fully saturated the marines push forward what are you doing oh no the bane leads come and instantly melt the bunker but really good complaint here from complain immediately sending his marines into the other bunker and the supplemental bunker filled with a marauder immediately falls the widow mines have done a lot of damage to all of these units we can see that a lot of them are in yellows however with the last bunker falling there's just not enough marauders out on the field to actually deal with the sheer volume of roaches all the zerglings have been cleaned up uh but the units are dying pretty much as soon as they can come out of the factory or the uh the barracks gg is called by complaint soul taking a massive massive early lead in that engagement and then complain uh, you know he he survived he kept his orbital up he kept his third orbital up he's just playing just a little bit too greedy throwing down that last cc uh he did not have a wall off complete before that baneling bus roach all in uh, came and it was definitely an all-in. I mean, Soul had only 17 harvesters back at home. And I think twice that much for Complain. If Complain had managed to hold this, uh, Soul would have been just in terrible, terrible shape. However, Soul top drawer control, uh, getting his banelings up there, actually taking out those su supply depots, managing his zerglings in there, and then continually stream them in, get the surround on those hellions. If those hellions hadn't been surrounded, who knows how to th this would have ended? And it's not over yet. We've got another match to go, uh, and I'm looking forward to that. So that is that's going to be uh, game number six, I believe. Uh, and currently the score is three for NON Esports and just two for Saget. So so it's, uh, it's getting down to the wire. Getting down to the wire. I will see you guys there. I am Big and Scary.